Because who you think you is? You think you gonna hit my cheating man? <laughs> <laughs> he ran down there with a sweater on, came back with no shirt or sweater like. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Here's the motherfucking tea. All right, so let me tell you the tea, right? Spill the tea, what the? Spill the tea, sis. Huh, I'm back outside. Oh, that's good for you, baby. Hey beauties, welcome welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey girl, hey, how you doing? How you been? Where you from? Where you at? Okay, let me just address something really quickly. I normally don't do that, but it's necessary to do now. So when I say, you know, hey beauties, that's to my beauties, my real genuine supporters. Y'all not fans, y'all supporters, okay? My beauties, my, 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 my fake family, we built a little community over here. So when I say beauties, that's what I mean by beauties. I don't mean everybody just coming on the video. Oh, no shame. When you gain a lot of subscribers, the trolls, they start coming. They start coming hard too. But one thing about me, you may be control, I control harder, so don't play with me. Clock that tea. I had a comment on a video when I was outside. The comment is deleted, by the way, because I blocked the person. ASAP after this. Somebody gonna comment and say, oh, you only doing videos outside because you probably got roaches in your house. Oh. That's crazy. Cause yeah, I just seen the video about you talking about South Carolina, the roaches and all of that. So you probably got them in your house. That's why you don't want to record in your, in your room no more. Who are you talking to? The biggest. Where you see a roach at? Besides me, cause I know I'm one. <laughs> Where you see one at? Are you dumb? I didn't record in here because this is my third take of doing this video cause my kids is in there. Had to break up two fights, an argument, and smack somebody like. <laughs> what do y'all be talking about? You, you never could read me something I gave you. Information I gave you. Don't never try to clock my tea with information I gave you. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Don't play with me, baby, because I get at the for real. All right? Now, moving along. So we'll get into the story time. Be sure to pay attention to the background if you may need to, just to, just to make sure you don't see a little roach. Because <laughs> you're ne never going to see one. Period. Okay? But anyway. Hey, beauties. So today's video is sponsored by Yida Home. Yida Home is a kit-based home furniture provider. They provide a range of high-quality furniture for all needs. From now until Friday, April 19th, Yida Home will be having the biggest sale ever. All furniture will be 70% off, plus an extra 15% off when you use my code RISMA. That's R-I-S-M-A. Making the sale 85% off. Now that's a deal you cannot beat. So run over to their website, check them out. Not only do Yida Home provide the best home-based furniture, but they also offer free shipping on all products and all products will be shipped in 24 hours yes i said it 24 hour dispatch read it it's on the screen and free shipping for all products so yeah let's get into what eat at home sent me today okay so first thing first for a big box like this the shipping was actually pretty fast they did communicate with me they told me it would be here in a week it was there two days before that but yeah the screws y'all you don't need a screwdriver you don't need none of that all you need is the allen key that's provided the instructions were simple there's no paragraphs it's so easy to understand. Like, it it took me and my daughter 45 minutes to do this job. Do you understand me? Shout out to my daughter. Any other furniture that I done built done took me at least two, three hours the most. But this bed frame, it was super easy. It is a two-man job because one person need to hold one part while the other person screwed the bed parts together. But all in all, the bed wasn't heavy. It was super easy. Again, discount code on the screen, 15% off. Don't forget to participate and get that extra 70% on.
So again, this is a super easy process. As you see, I'm taking the Allen key and I'm just screwing the parts in because yeah, it was that simple. So this is the bed frame. It's not complete yet because I do have to put the slats on there, but I'm going to sweep and yeah, we're going to get ready to put the slats on. Now, putting the slats on was also an easy process. Now, these slats I have never seen come with a bed like this because I had one similar to this, but they came like individual. These ones was like, you see it had a little rope on it, and then it was Velcro strips that was also on the bed and on the slat. So, they stuck perfectly fine. And y'all, honestly, I really thought that this bed was not going to be sturdy at all because, again, I had one similar to this. But y'all, when I tell you this is day five, that I done slept in this bed. I done slept in this bed for five days now as I'm recording this voiceover. And y'all, this bed is sturdy. No squeaking. And y'all know I'm a big girl. No squeaking. No none of that. But yeah, so this is basically us putting the slats on. So this is the final look. I love it. Like the aesthetic. Do you see it? Like the little, oh, this was so cute. And the bed frame is so tall. I was like, oh my God. But yes, I can't wait for y'all to see the finished look. But yes, our hard work paid off that 45 minutes putting this together. Oh yeah, it definitely paid off. Like you see the Velcro scripts. You see everything that I'm showing you. Like, this is definitely the bed that you need to have in your house. Because why not? What other bed would you want? Like, stop playing games with them. You know, if you go shop on any other website for this type of bed, it is not going to be sturdy. Okay? So, stop playing on Yee to Home and go shop with them. So the moment you all been waiting for, this is the final look. I did put my mattress on there. Now you do have the option to put your box spring on there as well. But no, I wanted to see my bed frame. I wanted to touch it. I wanted to see it. But yes, I love this furniture, y'all. Y'all need to go check in my description box. All the links is down below. And thank you, Yee Home, for sponsoring this video. Y'all, who y'all think the story time gonna be about today? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's my baby dad. That's my baby dad. I'm a fine shine in the house, dad. But yeah, it's gonna be about him. So it's definitely gonna be about Troy. Let's get into it. For the ones who don't know, Troy is my baby daddy. No, we're not together. He lives in New York. I live in South Carolina. We do not speak. Haven't spoken to him since 2023. Don't plan on speaking to him. Contact is cut off. He dates my friend now. Lord Jesus. He just my baby daddy. That's it. That's it. Just a baby daddy. So, we're going to talk about him. So, back then when we was in a relationship or whatever, y'all know. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. So, y'all know. Back then when we was in a relationship. Like, I was a teen. I was like 19 years old. And, you know, Troy, he used to, you know, sell his little treat and his little white and stuff like that. Him and his friends, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, basically, when I got with Troy, I guess we was we probably about a year in when I got with him at this point that I'm telling you on the story time. So, we was about like a year in. Basically, Troy was staying in my house. But one of his big homies, which she, he knows my mother because his big homie basically grew up with my mom. So, he got like mad respect for me and my family and stuff like that. So, one of the big homies, he used to come to the house or whatever. And he was telling Troy like, yo, you and all your friends, y'all be in her house. And I don't really see y'all really contributing nothing. So, like, won't y'all, like, put her on, get put some money in her pocket as well? Like, I'm pretty sure she don't want to just take $100 here and there from each one of us when we could just give her her own stuff and she can make her own bread. Uh -huh. Mind you, he only said that because one day Troy and, um, what's his friend name that I called him another? So, Troy and JR, they had went somewhere to another borough, probably to see a girl. And they had left me with their stuff. And they told me, you know, make sure I serve the people, whatever, whatever. They gonna call me or I'm gonna meet them here, whatever. So I was going and serving all the people, da 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 da. When they got back, pack gone, pack finished. I did that. So they were trying to figure out how was it that I did it so fast because I'm a hustler, okay? I was, I'm a hustler. Not only am I a hustler, but I was the brains of their whole operation. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Hello? 
Yes, this video right here, jail time. Ain't no Rico charges going down though. Ain't no Rico's going down because they ain't making the money like that. No shade. Um. Basically, the brains of the whole operation. I was telling them exactly what to do, how to do it, how to double up the money, how to triple it, how to, you know, invest into the business. We was really treating us like a real business. So I ain't gonna lie, like I ain't have a job yet. I was like 19 years old. You know, my grandmother passed. Troy basically didn't have a mother either. So it was given like, you know, we need to take care of ourselves. We need to take care of the kids. We, we need to pay bills. We need to do things. So I ain't gonna lie, I did get up out there and I was on the corners. I was slinging, feel me? On myself. On my, on my cell, on my life. Like, I was definitely slinging, so I'm not gonna lie. So every morning I would wake up, my mom in the house, yo mommy, I will be back, I'm going up the block, so I go up the block. I'm not gonna say what the block is, because I feel like maybe he still do that on the block. I, I'm not sure, but I don't want nobody to like get in trouble. So, I'm not gonna say what the block is, or I'm gonna just say it was the block on the in the Bronx. So, I used to go up the block or whatever. Early in the morning, it used to be like 7 in the morning. Make sure I'm bright, up there bright and early. Me, Troy, his friends, all of us, we up there on the corner. We trapping. Feel me? We go in there, we get our little bogeys. You don't know what a bogey is? It's a cigarette. Why? I don't smoke them no more, but it's, it's a cigarette. So, we get our little bogeys or whatever. We get the coffee. Now, we out there. Feel me? With the snorkels on. Because, you know, it's cold in New York, especially in the morning. It's about 18, 10 degrees sometimes. So, we out there trapping it up, trapping it up. See, Troy, he he was he was real upset because I was I was selling fast. I was, oh, yeah, what you need? Like, huh? yeah, what, what you need? Oh, what you need? Like, yeah. So, he was kind of jealous. Like, and JR, he was bigging me up. Like, yo, Charisma, you doing your big one. Yes, I am. I own this block. Feel me? I'm a trapaholic. Feel me? Go sit down somewhere in the nurse motherfucking corner. Dead ass, bitch. Go sit in the nurse motherfucking corner. I just was doing whatever I had to do to fend for my children and feed my children. So that's what I had to go out there and do. That's what I did, okay? This one particular day, we wake up, we go up the block. At this point, like I said, like 7.30, whatever, whatever. So we on the corner, we trapping, we doing our big one, right? I say about 11 o'clock get there. Cause when I tell you we used to be outside all day, we used to be outside all day, okay? So I say about 11 o'clock get here, right? So now the traffic in New York is starting to pick up. The people that's walking, it's starting to be a heavier crowd walking. People just walking. So I'm sitting there one day and I'm just chilling, feel me? Got my coffee, huh? I'm back outside. Huh, because I made me mad. Yeah, so I'm outside, you know, got my headphones and I'm singing, you know. So Troy comes up to me. Now, at this time, we so say the store right here. And it's like the pole where, what is that pole called? It's the one that tell you when you can walk or not. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? So it's the pole right there. So we standing by the pole. And he's trying to talk to me. So I take my headphone out and I'm talking to him back. If the conversation is not really even important, it's not, I don't really have to be details about the conversation because it was nothing like that. He was just talking to me, regular stuff. But while he's talking, I look over his shoulder and I just see two boys. They walking together. But then I notice that one of them go in the street and one of them is still walking on the sidewalk. Okay, now y'all know in the Bronx it goes down. It really goes down. Okay, I could peep something before it even happened. Feel me? But Troy is, he's facing towards me, so I don't think Troy's seen this. Mind you, his friends, they all standing in front of the store. They all laughing, they on their phones. They like, oh, bro, look at this. They talking to customers. Like, they doing their big one too. So I don't think they seen the boys coming either. But I seen the boys. I didn't know the boys from nowhere. So I'm just thinking, you know, maybe they was friends. They was walking together and one of them probably crossing the street wrong all right so let me tell you the tea right so i'm sitting there talking to troy or whatever so i just keep paying attention to the boys because i'm like where the other one went like the one behind the car he disappeared i just keep looking so troy like what you looking at so he's turning around and he like what you looking at i'm like nah it was just nah forget it It was just some funny stuff i thought i saw going on like i don't know so we back to talking y'all i swear to god we talked for like three good seconds when I tell you Troy had flu, when he was talking to me, I was like, what the? It happened so fast. I didn't know what, I didn't know what was happening. The boy that went behind the car, feel me? He ran up behind the car and sidelined Troy. We call it sideline. When the person can't see you and you hit him from the side, that's a sideline. Feel me? He sidelined Troy this way 
And the friend, the friend that was walking on the sidewalk came and sidelined Troy this way. So imagine getting your head knocked like this. Boom, boom. That was Troy. Getting his head knocked off. At this point, y'all, I'm sitting there. I'm like, yo. But my reflexes, my reflexes, I automatically swing. Like, I automatically swing at one of the boys because I'm like, what is they doing? Like. I knew it was something funny going on, but I didn't know exactly what was going on. So I'm like, what to do? Like, so I automatically just swing at one of the boys. I missed. I got mad. They turned around. They started running. So I threw my coffee at them. Feel me? So now they running. Troy, he's pissed off. Troy turns around. He starts chasing the boys. His friends start chasing the boys. His friends stop like in the middle of the block. Okay? He stopped in the, his friends stop in the middle of the block. Troy keep running. We telling Troy. We screaming. We like, yo, Troy, do not chase them down that block because that's their hood. If we chase them down that block, they're going to jump us. Like, even me. Because if, in New York, I'm going to tell you the truth. If you, got, if you got any beef with any dude or whatever, and you have a girlfriend, and they can't catch your dude, they're going to catch you. If you got beef with a dude, and you sitting there with your dude, and they can't hit him, they're going to hit you. Because you're his girl. They don't care. They hands is bisexual in New York. They hit on female. They don't care. I'm in the ghetto. It never gave. You know how many boys I fought in New York? A lot a lot most of them whoop my ass but most of them you know you know big mama once big mama sit on you it was like it wasn't giving <laughs> we screaming we telling Troy yo do not run down there because they're gonna jump you down there we already know that it's, it's a setup like mind you I didn't even know I knew that Troy was beefing with some boys but I didn't know he be, he always beefing with everybody so I didn't know that these were the two boys he was beefing with so I didn't to warn him or nothing but I did I was looking and he did turn around like what you see and I told him like oh nah I just it something just looked funny to me but I didn't see the other boy no more so I thought maybe they split up Troy keeps running down the block he do not listen to us we stop I'm telling I'm telling his friends I'm like yo do not run down there like do not run down there like he's mad dumb like what is he doing this I understand why he did it though he's mad like you just got hit twice bro he just decked you like what you gonna do like and then you got decked in front of everybody like everybody in the hood was like oh like the only per only people who was on timing was me and his friends because we quickly just took off running like but then we started putting two and two together like why would they just hit you and then run when they could have just fought y'all? Like, it's not a lot of y'all. It's two of them, probably six of y'all, but they could have just fought y'all squared up. Why would they hit you and then run? Because they're, they're using you as bait. They're baiting you. So they want you to run down there so they could do you dirty. And that's exactly what happened. I almost called the cops. <laughs> <laughs> so Troy runs all the way down there. We just screaming to Top Island. Yo, Troy, do not go down there. Troy, do not go down there. So his friend, JR and them, they get mad. They like, yo, I can't just leave my bro down there. I don't know what they're going to do. So hold on. I'll be right back. When I tell you JR was back in five seconds, he was not playing. So JR came. Big homie came. It was a lot of his other friends that came. Y'all, they went and got them them toolies. They went and got them toolies. Cause we didn't know what we was about to run into when we went down there. Feel me? That's state hood and they from the project. We not we don't live in the project. We only live in the building. So it's like we only got building people. Project people is different. You got mad floors in the projects. Them boys had mad friends come to find out. But hold on. Listen to the story. So they go get their toolies or whatever. We go down the block. So now at this point, we running. We running down the block. We running. So we finally get down the block. We see a lot of commotion going on. Yo, why do they got my baby daddy on the floor stumping him out? I know you lying. Stumping him out. One thing about Troy. Troy is light-skinned. A lot of y'all that see his picture or whatever, y'all was like, oh, he don't look light-skinned to me. He looks kind of like brown or dark. No. That boy is light in person. I don't know what them pictures talking about. That, that boy is light. Light bright. So when he get hit, it shows. His body, it bruises. Feel me? They just <laughs> When I tell you these boys is jumping him, I didn't know whether to get excited or be upset or jump in with the ops and help them because yeah Troy was definitely on that cheating stuff around that time so I didn't know if this was God giving me some karma like yeah he gave his karma he did all that dirty stuff to you now they gonna beat him up you know charisma we got 
we got you girl i ain't know what was going on so i'm like should i jump in for the ops and stump troy with them or like should i help my man because he's my man at the time so i'm like damn like it's boys though like it's no girls like i don't even want to show my face i don't even want them to know that i'm his girl because when they see me by myself they're going to beat me up Ooh, bro and i already know they was going to do it because it happened but we didn't get there so i'm like yo i don't want them to see me by myself because me i can walk wherever i want like i have ops too i have ops as well but one thing about it i was never scared of my ops so i'm gonna walk wherever i want when i want to walk if you feel like you want to jump me do that but when i come back just know your head is getting blown off so i don't even think you want to do that they never really tried me like that my ops feel me they never really ran down on me like that and tried me so i was free to go wherever and down there it was like a mcdonald's i was always down there so i'm like i'm i don't really want them to see my face feel me so i like kind of like stood in the background a little bit i let his friends run over there or whatever so his friends they start swinging on the boys all the boys they back up in the street or whatever so now you know the Bronx two by four start coming out where every time there's a fight two by fours come out I'm always gonna tell the truth this is the third story time where I'm telling y'all two by fours is coming out it's two by fours any bro you see in the Bronx you I guarantee you you're gonna see a two by four you I, I guarantee you so they all getting it y'all they getting it the friends is getting it so the boys start backing up because now you know his friends they start pulling out the toolies they like yeah yeah like we ain't about to do all that it's mad at y'all we finna air this whole shit out so i'm like oh man like it's getting crazy it's getting crazy so the boys they in the street they're like come in the street come in the street mind you this is a busy busy busiest time of the day so the traffic is going crazy it's mad people outside traffic going stupid the cars is honking they horn because it's a green light but all the boys is like mobbed up in the street like the cars is eh, on their horn troy he said they're like come on come on still try to chase them you ain't learned your lesson the first time dummy move out the way so his friend like nah move back move back i got something for them i got something for them y'all swear to god as soon as soon as his friend went to and that whole block out mad cop car came. So now we running back the other way. So we running back the other way. The other boys, they ran up to their project. So we good, right? No. It's too much tea, bitch. For me, I'm like, oh, they bugging, yo. Oh my soul, bitch. Y'all see me over here, bitch. What's going on? We get back to the block. Troy is still mad. He got footprints on his back and all that. Oh. That's crazy. Feel me? They done stumped homeboy out. They done beat him out of his sweater. Feel me? He ran down there with a sweater on, came back with no shirt or sweater. Like, where's your where's your outfit, boo? You only have jeans and a belt and shoes on. Where's your outfit, boo? Okay, thank All you. Right. Don't tell me they, they beat you out your stuff. Tough guy. So... All that happened, we get back to the block. Troy is mad. He is so mad. We trying to get him to smoke, calm down, chill out. He like, nah, I'm going to get my lick back. These are the stay. Stop it. Get some help. Just say you embarrassed, bro, because it happened in front of mad people. And But I don't even know why he would be embarrassed because they caught you off guard. You was turned around when they hit you. One hit you from this side. One hit you from this side. But they was behind him. So imagine somebody behind you and they off your shit. When I tell you his head literally looked like a Bible head in front of me, because when they hit him, I'm standing right here. Like, he's like this close. We had just kissed and everything. He's still talking. We this close. All I seen was his head like, uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why would she say that? And he turned around and started running. Like, I'm like, oh. So when it first happened, I'm just like, but my reflexes couldn't let me laugh in his face. So I just swung because I'm like, well, maybe I could like hit one of them back. But my hit did not connect. And then the coffee I threw on them, that ain't even connect either because they was hauling ass. And they was a lot more skinnier than us. So they was hauling ass. So we at the block now. Now we in JR crib. So now they coming up with a whole plan about what they going to do to the boys and what we should do. Troy on the phone calling all his peoples. His other peoples calling. They mutual friends. Now we go downstairs, y'all. It's a whole mob of people. Everybody starting to pull up. One thing about Troy, Troy make that phone call. Don't let Troy make that phone call. Troy make that phone call. Oh, it's over. You're going to see boys 
coming out of everywhere. I ain't even gonna say men. Boys coming out of everywhere, all shapes and sizes and ages, okay? And at this time, Troy messed with the people with the guys from Boston Road. Now them guys from Boston Road, they used to mark crazy, okay? They used to mark mad crazy. So one Troy called them, y'all. We went outside. I kid you not, it was at least 70 heads outside. Hold up. Wait a minute. They was like, let's go, Troy. Let's go. They ain't finna play with you like that. Let's go. But Troy walking in the front like he the ruler of everybody. And I'm just laughing like, what are you gonna do? Like, what are you gonna do? Like, you're not gonna do anything. Like, this is why they saw on Troy in the first place. Because, like, you're not gonna do anything. Because me and Troy was getting into it. Because Troy was trying to take it too dangerous. Like, we gotta live over here, bro. That's only a couple of blocks away from where we live. I have to walk. We have, we walk with our children down there. We take the kids to McDonald's. We take them down there to get haircuts. We go to the stores down there. We go to the bus stop down there. Especially me. Like, I don't need that type of smoke. Like, you trying to, like, end people's life and do all of that over two punches. Like, just get your lick back and we can just go home. Like, so, Troy made it clear that we wasn't going to pew on pew nobody. That everybody was just going to fight or whatever. They Basically, he was saying, like, they just going to go over there and they going to brawl out. So, I'm like, okay, as his girl, you know, I'm coming too. Like, I'm with all the drama at this time. I'm with all the drama. I'm with all the messiness. I'm mad, toxic. I'm like, yeah, I hope they bring some girls. Mind you... It's me and another girl. The other girl is, is one of the choice other friends' girlfriends. But she looked like she was not about that life. So I'm like, if it's females there, I already know they're going to drag me. Because I'm only one person and it's going to be mad at them. You know, you're going to somebody's project. Like, bro, we mobbed two their projects, bro. Dumb. You are really dumb. For real. And then we waited till nighttime. Who does that? Like, that... Bro, it's never giving that. It's never giving... This was the dumbest decision ever that we made. We mobbed to these boys' project, y'all. It's mad of us walking down this block. Mad of us. At this time, Troy and his friends, they, they start throwing up signs. They start saying shit. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah. You already know it's lit. Like, why y'all talking the whole way when y'all supposed to be saving this energy? Because you don't want to get your head knocked off again. Clock that tea. Clock it. Clock that tea. Clock it. Clock that tea. Like, but they talking the whole time, smoking cigarettes, smoking blue while we walking. And I'm telling them, like, I think y'all need to save y'all energy, bro. Get a Red Bull or a Gatorade. You smoking a and all that. What's that going to do for you? Like, y'all about to get beat up. And y'all don't even know that. Like, you never go to nobody else's hood, bro. Anything could happen. Y'all, we go to their hood thinking we cute. And I'm sitting there like, well, I ain't gonna get touched. I'm a girl. They ain't finna do nothing to me. Like, it was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. Because I ain't know they get down like this at first. I'm a girl. They ain't gonna do nothing to me. So, I'm good. So, I'm walking with the guys. I'm like, yeah. Back outside. Mm, them niggas made me mad. But you're dumb as shit. I'm hyped. I'm hyped to see a fight. And I was low-key in my head like, I hope they beat Troy up. Because, yeah, he think I ain't know he cheated last night. <laughs> I know. Yeah. That's my mother. Your fave could never. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. I'm not dumb. I'm not stupid. I'm not dumb. So, I'm low-key being a hater and wishing Troy his downfall. Which, I don't even know why I did that. But, anyway. So, we walk in. We first got there with, like, four boys outside. So, the four boys outside, Troy knew one of them. He was, like, a mutual. So, Troy told him. He was like, yo, tell your friends come outside. They hit me earlier. They jumped me earlier. I just want my one-on-one -on -one and we could go. So, the friend was like, all right, cool. Like, I'm gonna make sure they don't try to jump you, Brody. I'm, I'm gonna make sure they don't try to jump you, Brody. Stop the cap. So he goes upstairs. He tell the boys come downstairs. Y'all, why I go to turn my head? Every building in the projects, the doors were swinging open and boys was coming out. Shut the fuck up. I think we outnumbered, baby. It's like 70 of us. It's 200 of them. We outnumbered. This is not. This is not given. Well, it was actually 69 of y'all because I'm not included. I just want to see the drama, you know what I'm saying? I was supposed to be the recorder, and I never got the record. Let me tell you why. It's boys coming from everywhere, so we like in the middle, by the playground, where the middle of the projects is, and the buildings is on all the sides. I say about five buildings, boys is pouring out of them. And I'm going to say boys, because some of these boys was teens. Some of these boys was grown men. It was a mixture of everything on both sides of the group. No girls. I don't see no girls. I just see all of these boys. All of these boys. So now they all coming like surrounding. So now Troy and all his friends, they start running up to the boys. 
Troy started running up to the main boy, the first boy that hit him, I guess they got beef with him. He started running up to the main boy. He getting it with the main boy. I ain't gonna hold you. Troy winning. Troy, he fighting the boy. The boyfriends wasn't feeling that, feel me? So the boyfriend tried to swing on Troy. I don't know why that happened. After that happened, all Troy friends jumped in. They all started beating these boys down. The, they friends was mad, so they everybody was jumping in, getting hit. So when I tell you, I was looking over to the side. Somebody was getting kicked in their face. I could have sworn I seen a tooth fly over there. Damn! Damn! Y'all, people falling out their shoes, getting punched out their shirt. It was lit. It was mad lit, bro. I'm like, yo, I don't know what to do, but I'm trying to stick by Troy to just make sure like nobody jump him or something like that. So as I'm there, like Troy still fighting the dude over there. So the boy, he runs past me. I like get out the way because I'm like, I don't want that smoke. <laughs> I don't know why, but he doubled back. I should have knew. I should have, I should have ran and left him. That's crazy. But I didn't. I think that's why they messed with me because I was really like one of them for real life. I feel like me and Troy, we was the best best friends but when it came to a relationship we hated each other but friend wise oh we do the same thing we trap we smoke we get hoes no bars we do all that together but when it's time for everything else yeah the boy passed me he ran past me to go fight then he doubles back he comes back so i'm thinking he finna jump on troy so i'm telling troy i'm like yo troy troy watch your back watch your back so Troy, he get out the fight or whatever. So now he he looking, he looking around, he looking around. So now he just swinging. So it's people coming up. He's swinging on everybody coming up. So the boy come, come back, he like, oh, ain't you his girl? Ain't you his girl? Fuck no. I was about to tell him no. Before I could even tell him no, this boy punched me in my shit. Lord Jesus. When I say he punched me and I immediately fell, I was on the playground playing with the kids like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> on my butt mind you i'm when he punched me and i fell on the floor first of all this how i could tell you can't even fight because you're a man i was a female i was like 19 18 19 at the time i'm a female you're a grown ass man you didn't even make me bleed you didn't do nothing bro you didn't you didn't knock a tooth out make a nose black eye you didn't do none of that so what was your point of hitting me and i didn't even say if he was my man or not because i was gonna say no because if somebody comes to you in new york like a guy and they ask you something the two questions to always avoid or just run or just hit them first if a guy come up to you and they ask you where you from or a female automatically hit them why because they're gonna hit you as soon as you say where you from. Because you're not from there. That's all they care about. They don't care where you from. They just want you to they just wanna hear you say that, oh, so say if you on Third Avenue and you live there, somebody come up to you, a, a mob of guys, and they like, yo, where you from? And you like, oh, I'm from downtown. They gonna hit you. So I started noticing as soon as somebody asks me where I'm from, or that's your man or anything, I'm hitting them first. Because you're not going to get one up on me. That guy, he definitely got one up on me. Because he punched me. <laughs> he punched me. I fell on the floor, y'all. I'm in shock. But at the same time, I was toxic back then. So I'm laughing on the floor. I'm like, oh no, this did not just hit me. So Troy, he turns around from fighting the other dude. So he goes swing on the other, the boy who just hit me. So now they fighting. So the, the boy that he was fighting, his main op, he comes past and he kicks me. No, I'm not doing this. I'm like, oh. They was wilding me up, yo. They was wilding me up. So I finally get up. So now I'm like, yeah, now I'm on demon time. So now I go over there with Troy and I'm helping him jump the boy. The boy had braids in his head. So I'm pulling his braids and I'm uppercutting his shit. I'm wilding. So Troy like, yo, stop, stop. Let me get him. Let me get him. Let me get the good hits. I'm like, nah, fuck that. I gotta get my head back. He just punching me in my shit. I fall on the floor. I'm mad. And a lot of these niggas, they grimy, especially in New York niggas. We just going in. We just going in. So the boy on the floor, yo, we stumping him out. We wilding him out. Y'all, I get punched in the back of the head. I'm like, ah! It's too much TV. Oh, we in a brawl. Like, the punch in the back of the head made me dizzy. I was like, no more. I can't do this no more. I'm like, Troy, we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. It's too many fights. It's too, it's too much going on, y'all. It's too much going on. I look around. Everyone is fighting. Literally, it's fights everywhere. This is like a real brawl. I never even got to record the fight or nothing for them because I was just supposed to be the recorder. Feel me? So we could go back, watch it on the big screen and be like, oh, you seen that? You seen that? That's all I'm supposed to do. But when I was about to hit record, that boy punched me in my face. Boop. And I went not right on the floor, right on my butt. I landed 
flat on the butt cheeks. I'm like, uh oh, he, he hit me with a good one. So I'm, I was on the floor like, because I want to see if I was bleeding. I'm like, no blood? I'm like, nigga, you ass, you ass. Like, that last you ass came out, the other dude kicked me. I'm like, ah, getting kicked, all types of stuff. Looking around, we like, yo, this is too much. Like, it don't matter where you were standing, you're getting hit. You're getting hit. So at this time, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of got on demon time because, like, the punch in the back of the head, I don't even know who did it because, like, I turned around, the person was already gone. Like, people were just running past, punching everybody. So I'm like, you know what? I'm finna get on demon time. Watch this. So now I leave Troy. I'm like, Troy, you got it. You you on your own. You got it. You could beat them up on your own. I'm running around to everybody fight, and I'm taking the ops, and I'm kicking them in their I'm talking stuff. I'm down there like, yeah, yeah, that's why you're getting beat up. My op, you get what I'm saying? So now I go over here, I'm kicking and punching and doing all of this. Yo, I'm wilding them up. I'm wilding them up. A female come out the building, she like, she's skinny. Like, she was not my weight class. So I didn't even want to fight the girl at all. But she came out the building and she was trying to talk tough. No, no. Mm -mm. I guess the boy that Troy was beefing with, that was like his little girlfriend or whatever. But I'm telling you, this boy Troy was beefing with had to be at least like 16. Huh? At least had to be like 16, 17. Like they was they was giving little boys. I mean, we was 18, 19, but still, we older than them. And the fact that these little boys got enough heart to come up this block and sideline you in front of your mans on your own block, yeah, they they tough. Clock that team. They real tough. So the girl come up the block. Um, come out the building or whatever. She's skinny. Feel me? She got a little ponytail. You know how they used to wear a little top knot buns on the top back in the day. Hello, natural hair. She like, oh my god, where's my man? Where's my man? Where's my man? So I'm trying to figure out who her man is. So I go back by Troy because I'm like, maybe Troy her man. Why would she say that? Like, cause you know he be with everybody. So I'm looking at Troy like. Mind you, Troy ain't even looking at me because Troy is in two fights. He Troy at this point getting jumped by two dudes at this point. But he holding his own. So I'm just looking at him fight like, I hope they beat your ass because if this girl come on here and say that you her man, oh yeah, it's going down. But you're dumb as shit. So the two boys he fighting, one of them is the main dude. The main boy he got beef with, the one who sidelined him. So the girl, she run over there or whatever. She like, oh my God, don't be hitting my man. Y'all, this girl swung on Troy. I guarantee you, you can't beat me up. Y'all, this girl swung on Troy, bro. I said, oh, yeah, this my, yeah, this when I get in it. Huh. Because, like, men, I mean, I can't beat them. They always punching me left and right, throwing me on the floor, no blood on my face or nothing. I'm like, they not even doing it right. <laughs> like, they supposed to stuck me out, pull my box braids, like, beat me up. Like, all that. Because at this time, y'all had box braids. And I remember I had box braids because I had a little bun on my head in the box braids. Feel me? She swings on Troy. I say, oh no, baby. Oh no, baby. I was hyped because I'm like, oh yeah, now I get to show my skills what I can do. You're a dummy, bitch. I run over there. I said, did you just hit my man? She looked at me. She was about to say something. <laughs> now we fighting. So I am wilding this girl up. When I tell you I'm wilding this girl up, I threw that bitch on the slide. I'm <laughs> Because who you think you is? You think you're going to hit my cheating man? <laughs> Never gave that. I wowed her up so bad. Her man stopped fighting Troy and came and beat me up. I'm always gonna tell the truth. You feel me? That's one thing I'm gonna do. You got that? I'm gonna have box braids because the boyfriend came behind me and pulled my sh It It was punching me like a bitch. Really, nigga? I'm like, you got that? You got that? You got that? But when he was pulling me and hitting me, Troy ran over there to fight the other boy, and he punched the boy. He was like, yo, get off my bitch. Don't touch my bitch. Don't touch my bitch. His girlfriend get off the floor. She crying. She like, oh my God. Girl, you should have never hit my cheating boyfriend, and I would have never beat you up and dragged you the way I dragged you, sis. Baby, you're crazy! He put me by the back of my hair, mock it, mock it, a good two times. I was like, oh, did he just give me a headache? Like, <laughs> he was wilding on me. So Troy comes over there, he starts mock it, mock it, hitting him too. The girlfriend, she gets up or whatever, she crying, but she talking her shit. The yeah, baby, beat him up, beat him up. You know you talking to? So Troy turned around, he like, shut up, back the boop. I'm like, yeah, I smack him with the other hand. Boop. Why? Yeah, now we got our lick back because the same way 
that him and his, your boyfriend and his friend came up there earlier when we was just selling our stuff, trying to make a living, trying to pay our bills as a team, not try, trying not to get kicked out, bro. While we tried up here trying to make our living, your boyfriend and his friend came and boop, boop, Troy's head. <laughs> so now we just boop, boop, your head, me and Troy. You smack her with the left bay, I smack her with the right bay. Like, what you want to do? I just want you to stop at this point. Please, no more. No when to f stop. What you want to do? So yeah, that's how I went. Everybody was still getting it in. Everybody was still getting it in. Y'all, we heard shots ring out. Oh! oh my God. When you hear shots in New York, it don't matter where they coming from. You don't look around and see where they coming from. You take off and you run in the, in the direction of home. So when the shots ring out, everybody ran. Everybody dispersed. We started running towards our block. Mind you, some of his friends got blickies on them. We don't know if the people on our side was letting them off or the people on his side was letting them off. But again, we in a project, so we not trying to find out. We not trying to get got. Like, this is over a stupid... Y'all, I still to this day don't know what the beef is about. I still to this day don't know what the beef was about. I asked Troy about two years ago when we was talking, and I asked him, like, what was ever that beef with you and the boy? I know the boy name, too, but I ain't gonna say it. But I'm like, what was ever that beef with you and the boy? And he was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. He just had beef with me. Hey, when people lie! Do not lie! I feel like it was over a female, though. That's why Troy didn't want to tell me, because that boy had in a mind towards him because after that bro everything was good everything was copacetic but for the next few weeks that boy and his friends kept coming back up to the block where we at and they kept trying to jump Troy they never was aiming for his friends it was always Troy and I kept telling myself it has to be over a female because nobody's gonna keep coming up here trying to sideline you bro and they will always catch him all the time off guard bro and I will always be there just watching like why they keep coming up here doing that though? Like it, it was never making sense to me. Even when I would ask his friends, like, why is he beefing with them? They'll be like, bro, I don't even know. Like, he just been going back and forth for weeks with these boys. That never went away. Y'all. So remember that day I told y'all we was brawling and I had box braids in my head, right? So this particular day I had this was like a few weeks after the incident. I had a weave and like a quick weave. So you know to leave the leave out, whatever. I had like a little bob. It looked like it gave like a little natural. Even though it wasn't my hair, it gave natural. I had that and all whatever. I go down there, me and my friend, we go down there to McDonald's or whatever. It was I was with my best friend. Rest up, Quay. So me and my best friend, we go down the block or whatever. We go to McDonald's, we go to the store, or whatever. So we see the main boy that Troy is is beefing with I'm calling the police <laughs> he is with another boy you know my friend like me and my best friend like it, it was kind of different because it's like people always thought that me and her was girlfriends we never did anything with each other my best friend didn't even get down like that feel me it was never giving that it used to be like okay you see charisma she got on you probably some some loose jeans or something with a little crop top because it was giving that i was skinny back then you know a little nice fit but you know, when you see my friend, my friend pop out, she like designer stuff. She like designer stuff, okay? She like the finer things in life. I never really cared about the materialistic things. Only thing that was materialistic that I really did care about was my sneakers, though. My sneakers had to be on brand. They had to be the latest Jordans or the Nikes or some good stuff, some good quality shoes. My friend, no, she didn't care about that. She wanted the, the rugby shirts with the true religions. She wanted all types of good stuff. So that's how she was stepping, feel me? So when we would always walk places, boys would always try to talk to us. The main one that hit him, okay? And he's with a friend. I don't recognize the friend. I don't know if he was there the day to brawl, but I didn't recognize him. So we go in the store. I'm whispering to my best friend. I'm like, yo, that boy with the red hoodie, that's the boy from the other day. Like, you remember I told you he hit Troy? So my best friend, we in the back of the store. Because, watch, we at the ACM, so we at the back of the store. She like, what? You said yo, best. That's crazy. So I'm like, I hope he don't notice me, bro, because I don't want to get hit. Like, he already punched me. Like, bad times already doing the brawl. Like, I hope he don't recognize me. So I'm sitting there like, damn, like, I don't know if I should call Troy, his friend. Like, damn. Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. I see an op. Come, come quick. Come quick. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Be in the back at the ATM, whatever. My friend getting money off or whatever. Mind you, I already had my money because we was going to put in. We was going 40-40 and we was going to get like an 80 of, you know, the tree tree. You know, we was going to. Cause you know my best friend, yeah, she, she 
Yeah, we was like, yeah, so we're gonna get some stuff or whatever. And so the two boys walked to the store. So I'm like, oh my god, I go buy the chips. I'm scratching my head. I'm trying to cover my face. I'm like, I don't want to get beat up in the store right now. Like, I almost called the cops. <laughs> I really don't, especially by two boys. They walked past us, like back to the sodas. You know, the sodas being in the back or whatever. And then they walked back. But the main boy, like the other boy that he was with, okay, so the main one that fought Troy, let's just call him Roy for right now, okay? So Roy, <laughs> his friend walked up to my best friend, and his friend was trying to talk to my best friend, feel me? So my best friend just, um, oh, I got a boyfriend, you know? Like, she, she's real, like, calm, so, you know? So, oh my God, like, oh, I appreciate that. Like, you know, I, I can't do this, da, da, da. Roy, he walks up, and he's like, yo, I know you from somewhere. Fuck no, I'ma stand on it. So I'm like, nope, mm-mm, I, I don't even live in the Bronx. I don't even live in the Bronx. I live in Brooklyn. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Like, I'm lying my ass off because I don't want to get beat up. I don't want to get beat up. I don't want to get beat up. So he is steady talking. So I pulls out my phone. Low key, I said, Troy, I'm like, yo, your ops is down here right now. Get to the store now. Right now this boy's in my face he's trying to talk to me i don't know what's going on i'm scared he's gonna punch my head off bruh <laughs> when i was talking to the boy he, troy tried to call and i have you up and banged it because i'm like no no you will not get me caught up no you will not get me caught up even though i could have answered it because it said bay the contacts at bay i could have just answered it you know what i'm saying but i was scared because i didn't want the boy to hear his voice over the phone or hear him while i'm talking so i just text sneakily like yeah i'm being a setup i don't care uh -huh. So I text him like, oh, this boy, blah, blah, blah. So I put the phone back away or whatever. So he like, oh, you got a man, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, no, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm not from here. Like, I never even been over here before. He like, oh, you, you cute, you cute. Like, Stop it. Get some help. Like, let me get your number, whatever. Mind you, I'm like 18, 19. I know for fact this boy is about 16, 17. What do I even look like? And you, how you don't recognize the girl that you punched? Oh, okay, thank All you. Right. Because I had box braids. Now I got the little bob with the little bang. Like, now you don't recognize me. But when you punch me and drag me by my braids, you recognize me then, though, right? You, so you don't remember when I beat your girlfriend up. So do your girlfriend know that you out here talking to people? Clock that in. So I asked him, like, do you got a girlfriend? He like, nah, I'm single. It was all a lie. No, you not, because your girlfriend was just out there with you. Like, why are you lying? But, again, I can't say all this because I'm, nah, I'm not doing that. So, I basically, like, friend zoned him. Like, nah, I can't do this. I got to go because, you know, I got to get home. I lied. I told that then I had seven kids, y'all. Oh. I'm not going to lie. He was like, how you got seven kids if you just say you 18? Mind your business. Mind your business, I started having them young like you don't even know because he was trying to pressure me to talk to him and instead of me just coming off like yo I'm scared cuz you the one you punched me I was just like yeah I got like seven kids like you know like I'm going through a lot right now but you know I'm from Brooklyn like once I said that he started easing off like oh, all right like so you don't smoke you don't drink like I'm like no not really you know I'm not really into that you know what I'm saying he like but you smell like gas right now I said what I said Mind you, me and my best friend, we had just smoked up, uh, you know? So I'm like, damn, like, oh my God, I'm trying, trying to lie my way out of this. And I'm trying to get him away from me. And low key, I don't know when Troy is coming. And I don't know who he bringing with him or what's going to happen. So I'm like, oh my God, no. Like, I don't want to be here when it go down. I don't want to look like a setup because you know what happened to setups. So I did not want to look like it was a setup. And I didn't even tell my best friend that I text him either. Because she would have been like, Charisma, don't do that. Don't put us in that predicament. You don't know. Every time boys fight, they always sh Don't do that, Charisma. I didn't tell her because I knew she was that type. So I'm like, nah. I'm uh uh you hit me, your girl hit me, your your friend hit me. I was getting punched all in my shit, dragged on the floor all that night. Never is never giving that. I'm telling him. The conversation basically ended. My best friend got the friend away from her by giving him a fake number. We leave out the store, they still in the store. If you turn this way, Troy and them block is a couple blocks this way. If you look up this hill, 
the boy lives up that way. The two boys still in the store. My best friend is telling me, she like, come on, we gotta go meet the, the plug or whatever. We finna go get this tree. Like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Now, the reason why we didn't get the tree from Troy and his people, because, you know, I always got the free tree because they sold it. The reason why we didn't get it from there because we didn't want what they had like the quantity like oh well we could give you this little bit for that no like the people my my best friend knew she was real plugged in with people she knew people so for 80 she could get like a big you know because they the boy liked her so he used to give her a big so we like yeah we're gonna split that we're gonna do that boom boom i'm talking to her about it i'm like yeah so we're gonna go down this way we're gonna meet him or whatever she was basically t telling me how the boy in the store his breath was staying like he was all up on her at the atm and stuff like that and she was basically telling him like oh if you trying talk to me like you gonna buy my stuff you gonna buy my rats you, you gonna what are you gonna do for me that was how my best friend was she came off straight as soon as you try to talk to her what, what do you have to offer because i know what i got to offer you're not gonna come take off my table so what you got to offer oh she's taking it you ain't got nothing get out of my face i don't got time for it she was not with she was not one of them she did not have time so as we talking we finna walk off my best friend looks over my shoulder because i'm i'm facing towards this way she looks over my shoulder she goes Best friend, why Troy is first coming down here? And I, oh, mind you, she kind of talked to Jr. She kind of talked to Jr. So she like, why Troy is first coming down here? Like, oh my God, you told Jr. I was on the block. Like, why are they coming over here? So I'm like, they are like they come. I, I act surprised. I'm like, they are like, when? How? So I turn around. I see Troy. He starts taking his shirt off. Everybody know. If you see Troy and he starts taking that tight shirt off, it's about to go down. So my best friend, my best friend, like, what's going on? Like, who he got beat? Why he taking off his stuff? I'm like, best friend, move back. Best friend, move back. So she like, charisma, what's going on? Best friend, move back and enjoy the show, boo. Enjoy the show. This is going to be your first time you ever see a boo JR fight. Sit back and relax and enjoy the show, boo. This is ridiculous. I've never been around that want to just fight and get they lick back on top of licks back after you done got the lick got fat motherfucker Troy and all of them they mobbing up they getting closer they getting closer the door of the store is like right here Troy and them like right here they gaining up and mind you he walking fast with them skinny jeans <laughs> <laughs> fast as fuck. They getting up. They 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 getting up there. They getting up there. They getting up there. Mind you, he with the lethal friends. He with the friends that will do damage and don't care about it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want him to come with those friends. I wanted him to come with the regular friends who just throw hands. I didn't want him to come with the friends that's gonna lead us to a life sentence. I don't like that. And that's who he brought with him. So once I seen that, I said, best friend, move back, get out the way, cause what's about to happen. Trust me, you ain't gonna want no parts to this. We don't want to look like setups. So let's just walk a little bit down to McDonald's and act like we don't even know them. I told my best friend, do not talk to them. Don't say nothing to them. Because that boy you just gave that fake number two and all of them, yeah, when we get caught by ourselves, they're gonna beat us up, bro. And we always down here. So play it off, walk down. We gonna walk by McDonald's. So I walk down, I walk past Troy or whatever. Troy like, yo, where he at, where he at? I'm like, he in the store, he in the store. We walk by McDonald's. Troy is inching up to the store. All I see is the red hoodie and his friend come out the door. And as soon as they came out the door, Troy started boom, 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 knocking them out. Knocking them out like straight headshots. So me and my best friend, we in front of McDonald's jumping up and down like, ah! Man. Stop it. Get some help. So we just seeing the shit. We like, oh, like, what? yo, they wild. So oh, Troy's friends, they jump on the boys. They beating them down. Mind you, they beating them in the same spot where they just beat Troy at a few weeks ago. Oh, ah, the ghetto. The ghetto. The same spot. Like, they wilding them up. But they, these people, they smart. They knew better. So they both jump up off the floor and they run up the hill to their hood. And guess who chases them again? Troy, dumb ass. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Chases them again. We are screaming, cause now I'm running back down. Soon as I see the boys running, Troy start chasing him, and his friends are just screaming like, Troy, do not go up the hill. Don't go up the hill. Like, we went up there before, bro. This time, we ain't gonna make it out alive. Do not go up the hill. Troy is running up this hill. I didn't even wait for the streets, the cars, nothing. I'm finna get hit by cars. I'm running diagonal. I done went behind a bus. I'm doing all this trying to get to Troy just to calm him down. Don't 
go up there. So I'm running. I'm running. Best friend, she over there by JR. She like, what the? F what happened? Hey, bugging y'all on my soul, bitch. Y'all see me over here, bitch. What's going on? She's like, y'all beat them up. Like, so I guess JR was telling her the story of what happened. Because, you know, I ain't really tell her all the details. I ain't really tell her all the details. I just said, girl, it was a big bra. It was a big bra. I was getting my head knocked left to right. They was stuck. I was saying they was stuff a Troy back. They was doing. I listen, listen. So I runs diagonal across the street or whatever. I finally catch it up to Troy. I'm like, yo, don't go in the project, boy. We good. So he like, nah. I feel like I ain't do enough. I need. I said, boy, you just threw him on the floor, kicked him. That you did everything he did to you, bro. Now I'm going to rip him out his sweater like they did me. You're trying so hard, bro. It, listen, listen. Just let it go. We need to leave now because if they ran up that hill, that means they finna run back down with at least a hundred people. We don't want to be here while they doing that. Mind you, this all happening in the daylight. Kids getting out of school, people going to get food. Everybody's witnessing this. I'm telling Troy, come on, we need to go. We need to go ASAP. I'm ready to get the fuck ASAP after this shit. So now me and Troy, we start running down the hill. We meet up with the rest of the crew and we mob back to the hood. Now that's over. I don't know what happened after that. I know that they were still beefing for the longest time. Even when I moved down here all these years later, they were still beefing with them. Even the second time Troy got pew pew that I was telling you about the same boys. This beef been going on for years to the point where now it's not even the teens in it no more. It's grown men. Because these teens done grew up and now they grown men. They wowing them up in New York. I don't know what's going on, but they still beefing to this day. I know you lying. Till this very day that I'm telling y'all that I'm sitting here 2024, they are still beefing. Mind you, all of this happened that I'm talking about probably 2014, 2015, years ago. Why are y'all still beefing a decade later? Like, y'all need help. We're going to fast forward a year later, y'all. At this point, y'all, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant with Harmony just right before I moved to Staten Island or whatever. I'm still in the Bronx. I'm pregnant with Harmony. Now, Troy, he outside with his people. He's telling me basically, like, he finna go to some party. They finna do what they do. I'm telling him I'm not going to the party because, like, I'm pregnant. I'm starting to get a little bulge in my stomach. It's it's not giving party for me. So, I'm going to just stay in the house. I'm staying in the house. I ain't going outside. Mind you, the kids wasn't even there that weekend because they was in Staten Island with my mom. I say about two hours past. It's just some banging on the door. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I go to the door. Troy's at the door huffing and puffing. I open door i'm like what's going on he like come on get dressed come outside come outside with me real quick come outside with me real quick so i'm like what happened he like nothing just come outside just come outside hurry up hurry up i keep asking like what happened like do you want me to fight my or what because like i'm pregnant like you see i'm pregnant right i hope you're not trying to put me in harm's way i like i don't know why you're telling me to come he's just like no just come outside come outside mind you he don't have no shirt on so i'm like no where are we going he like just come to the block just shut up, stop asking questions, come to the block. No, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. No. Veins popping out his forehead. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I throw my shorts on, whatever, throw a quick shirt on, and now I'm walking with him. Mind you, I got slippers on, not prepared for nothing that he's taking me to. So we go up to the block or whatever. His friends is standing on the corner. I see a whole mob of people standing up the steps, and then a whole mob of people standing down the block. So I'm like, what is going on, Troy? Like, what did you call me here for? All I see is boys. I don't see no females. What did you call me here for? So he's like, nah, nah, because they trying to sh me. Nah, because they... So what... What did you expect your pregnant girlfriend to do for you? Are you dumb? Was I supposed to help you? Was I supposed to block the bullet with my stomach? Like the you talking about like what are you doing like make it make sense bro you calling me to fight two mobs of people with y'all are you fucking dumb you want all your friends just standing here waiting for them to come to y'all talking about nah as soon as they come down here we gonna air them out oh that's good for you baby bro air out the top of the steps air out the people over there like why is you what did you call me for <laughs> like I did not understand. Yo, I got so mad and I left Troy right there. And he kept trying to chase me. Like, no, just come back with me. Come back with me. Fuck no. And I'm going and I'm going to stand on that. Okay. And they can get in my DM. You can get in my DM all you want every day. I'm sorry, boo, but I'm not going to protect you against no bully. I can't even protect you against a boy. Why would I protect you against a bully? Make it make sense. Like, so that was like the last time when I really, like, stopped going out fighting with them. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap. Move off the corner, like, just move. He didn't listen. 
He didn't listen, y'all. He didn't listen. That corner is his bad luck area. He did not listen. So let me tell y'all what happened. So we gonna fast forward. Remember when I told y'all that he was dating light skin? I went around the corner, caught him with light skin. One day I'm chilling or whatever. People come knocking on the door and they telling me like, yo, I'm so happy you broke up with Troy, bro, cause that wasn't you. I'm like, what happened? They like, yo, light skin just got beat up in the back of the bus. All right, so let me tell you the tea, right? So I'm like, what you mean she got beat up in the back of, who beat her up? Cause I want to fight her. I been wanting to fight her and she don't want to get it with me. They like, yo, light skin just got beat up on the back of the bus. So I'm mad hype. I'm like, yo, what female beat her up? Like, who finally caught her? Did one of my friends catch her? Like, who caught her? Like, was it Baby D? Who was it? Like, who? They like, no. You remember the boys that, that Troy was beefing with? The, the boys that sidelined him? Yeah, they caught her. And they said, oh, so you dating him? And they beat her down. Shut the fuck up. Damn. I felt kind of bad because I'm like, okay, if you was coming to me telling me like females done roughed her up, I would have just been like, that's good for her. But boys, I know what they did to me. So I can imagine what they did to her. And I know she didn't swing back because she always said, I don't, I don't fight. I'm too pretty. I'm not messing up my face. I'm too pretty. I can't do this. I'm too pretty. And in fact, she was, but that defend yourself but nobody was on the bus with her to defend her y'all they beat this girl up they ain't catch me nah they ain't catch me like that i actually went to the bra no shame okay i actually went to the bra months into their relationship troy happens to hit me up on facebook and he happens to tell me how his girl he feel like his girlfriend is an op because after they beat the girl up she was hanging out with them lord jesus that was the same time when, when Troy was with her. He got pew and pew. And I'm not talking about the boy that, the two boys that sidelined him. No, this was a whole different boy, whole different beef again that I ain't know about. And yeah, she was with the boy. She was seen with the boy, hugging on the boy, kissing the boy. It's too much. He... Who's really the setup queen? You, light skin. We all knew that though. To this day, y'all, they still beef with the boys. The boys is grown men now, so they still beef with the men. And um, I'm glad I'm just not in it because, like, yeah, I, 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 yeah, they was punching me all left and right that day. I was like, ooh, ooh, just getting punched on and stuff. And it was never given that. But yeah, I'm trying to think what else because he did always used to put me in some stupid predicaments, like, or he would come get me and be like, yo, I want you to fight this girl for me. What? And I would automatically tell him no, because I'm not dumb. I know you want me to fight her because either you was messing with her and she don't want to mess with you, or you was messing with her and she got disrespectful, or you was messing with her and she threatened to tell me what you was doing or what you was saying and spill the tea. Clock that tea. Clock that tea. And you didn't want the tea to get out, so you wanted me to beat her up. And I refused to do that. And that's why the girls always told me. He always would get mad because he'd be like, yo, babe, I want you to beat this girl up. And I'd be like, where's she at? And then he'll think I'm walking up to her to hit her. And I'll walk up to her and I'd be like, so what happened? And she'll be like, no, because you're mean. I didn't even know he had a girlfriend. He was dating me. And then I found out about you. And then I said I was going to tell you. And now he gave you the fight. A bum. That's what he is. A bum. That's really the end of the story, y'all. That's really the end of the story. If y'all like the story time, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow all of my socials. And up until then, peace.